Hello ladies and gentlemen, Holotide here, and today I'm going to do something extremely uncontroversial and will not hurt any feelings and is very smart on my part, and that is ranking the Halo campaigns. I don't really know what Haven means. Can I can I change that? Yeah, let's I'm going to put not played. Now obviously, I want you all to let me know in the comments down below your rankings. Very curious to see how this is going to shake out. I'm not going to talk about each campaign like super long. I'm just going to give my opinions, what I enjoyed, what I didn't like. And I'm sure that this is going to go over great. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a like if you agree with me. If you don't agree with me, make sure you leave a dislike and let me know in the comments how stupid I am. And if you want to, make sure you subscribe. I could be your third favorite Halo YouTuber. There's only like five left. And I would love to hit 15,000 subs before my birthday in October, and you could help me do that. I know 90% of you don't sub to the channel, you're just binge watching me from the recommended. Why are you doing that? Let's get into the video. So I'm gonna go in, I guess, chronological order of release, and that would be Halo Combat Evolved. This was the first Halo game I ever played because I am old. Some would say geriatric at this point. So I feel like it holds a special place in, you know, my heart. But this game is S tier for me. I love the aesthetic. We're not talking about anniversary, even though I don't think, like, I still enjoy playing that. But the original CE, like the aesthetic, the, the, the mystery, you just being dropped on this ring. I really do enjoy when games don't just like have a lot of lore or story yet. Like you're just some dude in some armor fighting aliens on some random ring. I love that it was kind of inspired by like 90s anime. That's my jam. I will say that I understand that, you know, some of the level design, the backtracking stuff, people don't love. I get that. But still, I I adore this game. I can actually like, I, I, I can play it in my head and I really enjoy it. And it's of course the one that started it all. Revolutionized gaming. Next up is Halo 2. This is probably the first one that people are going to get mad at me about. I'm gonna have some hot takes about it. I put it in B tier. The aesthetic is just not as good to me. I know we had to go back to Earth and stuff, but I'd, I'd rather be in space on a different planet, different ring world kind of thing, you know, different Halo, different installation. I know everybody's gonna be like, you are on a different one. And I love that. I love how that world, that Halo installation looks compared to like what's in CE. I think it's Delta Halo. You guys are going to roast me in the comments and tell me how stupid I am. Also, here's another hot take. That Breaking Benjamin song in a Halo game is kind of cringe. I said what I said. So random. It's so just random to me. Next up, Halo 3. I don't know, da, 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 da. Man, Halo 3 has got to be S tier for everything that it had, everything that it did. It's pop culture relevance, easily forged, custom games, all that stuff, man. I can't really argue with how good and how important Halo 3 was. I will say, as somebody who played it when it was, like, out, I remember how bad Xbox Live, like, I don't know, like, people didn't have good internet back then, and how the bullet projectile on the BR was, like, slow and stuff. I remember being very frustrated. But other than that, I wasn't, like, an MLG kid or anything. But just, like, the whole community, the pop culture stuff, Halo 3 is s tier next up we have halo odst where am i gonna put this one maybe a tier that's right this is another one of those where i just love the aesthetic the story might not be the strongest i know a lot of people complain and they're like oh it's not that great or something but like the music everything the tone man it was just so different than every other halo game and i love it for that i love that you're not a spartan too i really be jamming out man to to some Halo 3 ODST lo-fi beats if you catch my drift. I might have to go replay this game now. Next up, Halo Reach. I love Halo Reach. I'm putting it in A tier, not S tier, because multiplayer, until like they did like the no sprint, no bloom stuff. Forge, you know, all the gray maps. It just wasn't amazing. You know, armor lock and stuff like that. It just wasn't amazing on the multiplayer side, even though I still like enjoy using the DMR and everything. But campaign, it's weird to me that a lot of people complain about the Halo Reach story on like Twitter and stuff. They're like, oh, yeah, it's not really that great of a story. The characters are so one dimensional, blah, 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 blah. Whatever you say, I still enjoyed it. All right, we have Halo 4 and I'm going to put it down C tier. 
I don't know if this is a hot take or not. I didn't hate Halo 4. I just remember like playing the campaign and being like, oh, Cortana, dang. And then playing multiplayer and I was like, well, I don't, this doesn't really feel like Halo to me. I will say that it's probably one of the best looking games on the Xbox 360. It came out like right at the end, but like the, the changes in like sound design and stuff, not, not a huge fan. The Promethean stuff, meh. So I'm gonna have to put Halo 4 C, I'm sorry. Halo 5, this one might be the most controversial one. I'm gonna put this in B tier because I feel like if it didn't have Halo in front of the name, it would have been received a lot differently. And it's kind of like, well, you can't say that because then it's not a Halo game. And then you start fighting about that. Campaign, definitely not my cup of tea. I'm not gonna lie to you all. I think it took me like five years to actually finish the Halo 5 campaign. Does that make me a bad Halo fan? Let me know in the comments. Multiplayer was fun, in my opinion, for what it was. I actually really enjoyed Warzone. I think Warzone was probably the most unique thing that Halo's done, like, in a long time. Microtransactions, the rec packs, you know, all of those, those negatives. I still gotta put it in B tier, because, you know, if we're going off of Halo 4 being a C, Halo 5 is at least better than that. The campaign, though, I don't know. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna keep it, I'm gonna keep it, I'm gonna keep it B. I'm gonna keep it B. All right, Halo Wars, I played like one game of Halo Wars, so I'm gonna put it not played because I feel like that's not fair. Halo Wars 2, I'm gonna, I think Halo Wars 2 is really good. I'll put it in A tier. I played it on a laptop, I think, on like the Microsoft Store. Is that what I'm thinking? Is that correct? I could be lying to you all. But uh, my roommate actually had it, and I played it on their Xbox a ton. I actually really like those uh, real-time strategy games like Age of Empires and stuff. Story, cutscenes, blurred, you can't, you can't beat that. Very nice, A tier. All right, I have not played Spartan Assault or Spartan Strike. And finally, we have Halo Infinite. I'm going to put Halo Infinite. This is a hard one, because do I judge it on how it released, or do I judge it now? Let's, let's do both. All right, so Halo Infinite when it came out, campaign multiplayer when it came out, I think a C. I feel like the open world campaign really lacked. I wish that it was more alive. We've talked about on the channel before how, you know, there was a lot of cut content and things that didn't make it into the game because of time and resources and blah, 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 blah. Stuff like Forge, you know, like Halo 5, Forge didn't launch. At the same time, Firefight, there was only a couple playlists at launch, a couple maps. The store was just like super outrageous. And it still is in my opinion. That being said, like the potential of Halo Infinite was haha, <laughs> infinite. Yeah! I put on my sunglasses right there. And it's just unrealized, unrealized potential. Now, I will say, like I love, I enjoy playing Halo Infinite still. And I think that as of right now, I would put Halo Infinite B tier. Like, as it is with everything that's come out, that's how I feel. So, yeah. That's going to do it for the video, ladies and gentlemen. If you enjoyed, leave a like down below. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and yell at me in the comments. I will catch you around the ring. Peace!